As part of the Hillsborough Agreement in February 2010, the former Lisinelli military barracks site in Uma was gifted to the NI executive for a proposed educational campus. The Northern Ireland executive allocated the barracks to the Department of Education for educational purposes. The Lisinelli site, which includes a section of the former St Lucia barracks site, south of the River Strew, comprises approximately 140 acres of prime parkland in the heart of Oma town and is about twice the size of the current combined land bank of the post-primary schools in Oma. The proposed Lisinelli Shared Educational Campus is a unique and groundbreaking project by the Department of Education for post-primary education provision in OMA and offers the potential for up to six schools to locate to the Lisinelli site and benefit from purpose-built state-of-the-art facilities. The proposed shared campus will provide over £100 million investment into the local economy, creating employment and opportunities for local business. It will allow the regeneration of the existing school sites in Oma, creating new economic development opportunities. I'm very enthusiastic about it. As chair of the Western Education Library Board, I'm well aware of uh, the facilities in the town at present, how some are better than others, how some are lacking, some need, need replaced quite some time ago, and uh, difficulty with maintenance, etc. This is an opportunity to provide tremendous new facilities and way beyond what any individual school could possibly hope to have. It shows the way for how shared education can be provided in Northern Ireland in the future. The draft master plan proposes that all schools relocating to the campus will have a core school building that could retain their name, identity and ethos. However, as pupils move through the key stages, they will have access to the shared facilities as currently envisaged and presented in the draft master plan, these will take the form of a school of performance for drama and music, school of making for art and design, and a school of activity for all sporting activities. I think already the six schools get on well together, so this will just make it a lot easier for them. And I also love the idea of the new departments, the performance and activities and stuff. So. I think it's a great opportunity for the young people of Oma to get brilliant shared facilities for everyone's benefit. I think it's better than having one combined school because each school gets to stick with its individual ethos but still uh, reap the rewards from the shared facilities. The Lisinelli Shared Educational Campus is a project for the entire community in Oma and as part of the design process a series of public consultation exercises have been carried out to update and obtain the views and input of the local community as the project master plan design progresses. The new facilities at the campus we're getting are better than what any school can provide now. I'm very excited by it. I think it has a lot to offer and it's all about young people offering wider choice and all sorts of progression routes. Well, I felt like our voice hadn't really been heard up until now. I kind of, we kind of fell out of it a bit. So I think like they needed this more than anything. So it's good that they had this. After seeing the architecture and all, I think it's, I think it was really worthwhile to come and see it. I was against it before I saw this, but I'm kind of leaning the other way now. We have to look and keep our eyes on what's going to happen you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. So this is an opportunity for enhancing education, uh, both primary education and the area. And I think it's of major significance even from that point of view alone. The Lisinelli Shared Educational Campus aims to not only construct new buildings, but to also build a community. The schools of the Oma area, by working together, have the opportunity to access facilities that would not be deliverable on their own. We've had to be very creative, uh, we've had to think totally outside the box how we can open it out to Oma and the town and the community, not just the schools. The Lisnelli project reflects the desire of the Northern Ireland Executive to deliver a shared future for education provision. Public consultation to date has shown tremendous support for the project right across all sectors of the local community. Grand Oma has suffered and certainly the West has suffered from economic deprivation as well over the last number of years but this being a world-class facility will create real positive notability and that's what Oma needs and that's what the West needs. Well there are a few retail projects on the go at the planning stages um, located within the town and outside the town boundary so we believe the overall impact of those projects as well will help retain and if not increase the number of jobs in Oma area. 
No other town in Northern Ireland has ever had this opportunity and the town of Goma, an old town, a well-established town, will have the opportunity to actually rebuild itself on its existing foundations. Well, I suppose the cordoning off of the, of the Lisanelli lands uh, up to now kind of excluded it from the town, so that was almost unnatural in a way. That this will uh, reintegrate those lands back into Oma Town Centre and also liberate uh, lands within the town centre that are currently occupied for further development of retail and for small business. So it can only be positive for Oma Town Centre and for its potential as a major market town in the West. I'm greatly excited about it, I'm extremely positive about it, and I'm right behind it in every way possible. Oma is the county town of Tyrone. This particular project will put us back on the map. It's, it's a good project, it's a good news project, it's good for Oma, it's good for Tyrone, and it's good for Northern Ireland. I think the, the benefits and the potential are, are just there for everybody to grasp, and uh, we're, we're just on the cusp of realising that. Well, I think it's an opportunity to create a lasting legacy in Oma. We're appreciated by all the children in this area for generations to come. It's an opportunity you may get, you know, once in a lifetime. There has never been as big a project in Oma before, and I don't see that there will be in the future. This is Oma's signature project.